What is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I am at the newest property that I just purchased. I want to show you guys because it is a two family property that I have big plans for. I'm gonna actually knock the whole thing down and I'm using my HELOC to fund it. I want to share with you details on how I found this property, how I got it under contract, and how I funded the deal uh, with a partner as well as my home equity line of credit. I'll share with you all the details in regards to how much I took out of my home equity line of credit, what it's going towards, and I'll also share with you what our plans are for the property. It's being knocked down. I'm gonna put a duplex style home, which is very common here. And I will also uh, share with you how much we're gonna be selling these duplex homes for. And I'll give you an example of one that is down the street. Um, so let's get into it. I want to share with you the story on how I found this property and how I got it under contract because I think there is a lot to learn from this. Uh, I certainly learned a lot from it, especially in this market. So this property was uh, on the market at a price of $925,000, I believe. And then they dropped it to about 900 and then 875 and then 850. I came to look at it, it is, it is a two family property. It has um, on the first floor and the basement is one unit and then on the top floor is another two bedroom unit. So I was looking at it as a potential long term buy and hold rental property just to buy myself. And this was a while ago, this is probably last summer or something like that when the interest rates were going up very very quickly and as i was in negotiations with this property you know i offered them eight hundred thousand dollars at first um and when they were asking 850 which you know after the last couple of years is of everyone getting what they're asking and then some i figured there was a little bit of a low ball but uh they actually did accept it i went through an inspection process and i kind of realized that it needed a bit too much work to get it at $800,000. So basically, I backed out. I backed out of the deal. And a couple weeks later, they reached back out to me asking if I was still interested. And I said, eh, not at that price. The market's changing. And uh, they said, okay, no problem. And then they reached out again another week or so later. I said, listen, I'll be interested, but not at that price. They asked me how much? I said 700 grand. They took it, they accepted it. So as soon as they accepted it, I was like, wow. That's like a good price for even just land value here, to be honest with you. We are in northern New Jersey. This is uh, right outside of Manhattan, right on the other side of the George Washington Bridge. So land value tends to be pretty high here. And most of the value of any of these homes that are older in this area are land value. For 700 grand, I said, you cannot beat that. That is a great, great deal for this house, no matter what happens. And I ended up getting a partner to buy the property for 700 grand with me, 50-50, all cash. So this is a great example of how you could use your HELOC, but safely. So that means 350 each with closing costs and whatever. I think it was a little bit more, maybe 380 each, let's say. So $380,000 I needed to come up with in order to purchase this property. So as you guys already know, my home equity line of credit is for about, I think $175,000. I took the entire line of credit out to put towards the purchase of this property here. And the rest, I had cash. The $175,000 that I took out of the home equity line of credit, do I have that? Do I have that in liquid assets? Yes, I do. I would not have done it if I didn't have enough cash to cover this, uh, you know, what I took out of the home equity line of credit for this project. Always make sure you have a way to pay it back. Also, this is not a long, long term investment. This is a short term investment. This is a basically a uh, much more expensive or higher end flip, right? Because you're buying a property at a certain price and you're improving the property. In this case, we are knocking it down and putting something completely new and then selling it. Okay, this is not a long term investment where it'll be years and years that I'm gonna have uh, my home equity line of credit um, that I'm gonna have to pay every single month. I figure the, the time frame for this from beginning to end would be less than two years, probably be about a year and a half, hopefully. In regards to home equity line of credit payments, so obviously interest rates have gone up substantially for the last year or so, right? I think my interest rate on my home equity line of credit is up to 9% or something like that. So the interest rate is not, it's not cheap anymore, but that is fine. So I wanted to share with you, I took out all of the home equity line of credit, which is 175,000, give or take, and I think as of right now, I've been paying it since January. As of right now, I believe the monthly payment, interest only, 
Remember, that I'm not paying down the loan with this number. It's interest only for 10 years. It's about $1,300 a month. To me, $1,300 a month for a year and a half, the profit that I make off of this will more, more, more than cover that cost. And everyone has different risk tolerances, so you have to make a decision in regards to what's best for you and your situation. So here is the property from the front. And this is a 50 foot by 100 foot lot, which is what's most common in this area. I wanted to go into the details of like the numbers of this project because I think that a lot of people, a lot of viewers and subscribers uh, that are out there for my channel are just real estate investors in general looking to find different ways to uh, make money in real estate. And some people get intimidated by it because it's really like bigger numbers than a flip or something. But in reality, a lot of construction costs, most of the construction costs are covered by uh, the lender completely. So we bought this property, like I said, for $700,000. We're gonna knock it down. And basically we bought it with all cash and we went to a lender for a construction loan. I believe the construction loan was for, I don't know, a million three or something like that. So you're in it for two million bucks basically, plus interest and plus a lot of other costs that you know come to play when doing one of these big projects. Let's say you're in it for two million. We figure we're gonna knock this down, put up duplexes, and around here, duplexes are very common, and they're not duplexes like what most of the country thinks of. They're actually uh, two separately owned townhouses that are side by side. It's not one. It's not owned by one party. It's actually owned by two parties. And we're selling. We're, we figure we could sell it for about a million four at least per side. So a million four per side would bring it to two point eight million. And if you're in it for two million bucks, that's a good uh, profit. So let's go inside here. It may be a little difficult because all of the utilities are off getting ready for the demolition. But I wanted to show you guys the inside of the property before it gets knocked down. Anyway. So this was all owned by an old lady uh, that I think passed away and that's why they put it on the market. So this is your first uh, unit apartment. This is the family room and this is the dining room here and kitchen in the back and it goes towards the back area there. Here are where the, uh, the bedrooms are. You had one bedroom here, one bedroom here, a bathroom, and another bedroom. So you had three beds, one bath, and I believe you had a half a bath downstairs in the basement as well. You know, this is what originally my plan was to take this property and redo the whole thing and rent it out. But for the price, it's a better deal to knock it down. Now this was, or this is the two bedroom unit upstairs. This was much smaller, but really not that bad. As you can see, I mean, a big uh, bedroom. The condition of it is was really not that bad. It was really, uh, my biggest concern was some moisture issues uh, in the basement, as well as all of these, check out these windows, are really, really old, they're all metal single pane windows, those all would have needed to be replaced. It's just, it needed a lot of work. And here's your one bathroom here, and then another bedroom here. So as you can see, not that bad condition wise, but around here, like I said, right outside of Manhattan, the value is in the land and it would have been more profitable, it is more profitable, to knock it down and sell it. So now I'm gonna show you what we plan on putting on this property after we knock it down. This is what we call a duplex, and it's not exactly what most of the country thinks of a duplex. Most people think like this is a duplex right now, which maybe it technically is, like a legal two-family property. But around here, what we call a duplex is, basically it's like a 50 by 100 lot where you knock something down, and you put two individually owned, deeded, side-by-side -side townhomes, and that's a duplex here, and you sell them separately to different people. It's not owned by one person. Um, so let me show you what that looks like right now. So something like this is what we will be putting on and building on that property. Uh, this, like I said, is what we call a duplex. As you can see, it is two side-by-side, -side individually owned, uh, townhouses that we will be selling for at least 1.4, maybe even $1.5 million per side. Now this one uh, does have rooftops on the top, which I don't think we'll be putting. It doesn't really um, work for the other location uh, like it does for this one, but the finishes and everything like that 
will be pretty similar. So that is it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to follow this new series that I'm going to have building this duplex using my home equity line of credit, definitely smash that like button down below and also consider subscribing and hit that notification bell because that will let you know right away once I put videos up about this project. If you want to learn more about real estate investing with your HELOC, consider subscribing as well. And let me know in the comment section what you think about what I'm doing here and uh, if you've done anything similar in the past. Let me know in the comment section and I will see you next time.